Alright, gonna do this real quickly. So, Ezra Miller lost their damn mind. I'm gonna say there because, yeah, I'm gonna get into that. Apparently, he is, uh, well, they, excuse me, are now considered uh, non binary. At least that's what, how they are presenting themselves. Okay, that is acceptable, Ezra. <clears throat> Here's what's not acceptable. Yeah, you can't um, go grab somebody and choke slam their ass in the damn bar. Now, I don't know how it started, I don't know how it went, or whatnot, but we can't just grab somebody and maybe they were being assholes or whatnot in the middle of the bar. Okay, cool, you sh put up with that, but still. You can't go around just choke something in the light. I haven't seen this little thing. It looked like from her perspective, she was just playing around. You, on the hand, seem to be taking this a little bit too legit. And I'm getting out of front, sure enough, because I know damn well, if I don't, Okay, now everybody's gonna go all bitchy on me on. So anyway, so what they do now. It's like, there's a trans person doing something bad. They must all be bad. Is there anyone that looks like you perfect? No? Then maybe shut the fuck up. Because you know you're full of shit. I don't have any damn pistol with them. What the fuck is wrong with me? I don't have the pistol thing. All it's doing is bullshit now. It's just, it's just, it's bullshit. Okay, go grab that thing. Just don't. I don't want this thing. I don't understand why Kevin Costner and all the other motherfuckers had bodyguards to keep bullshit like this from happening. Like when, yeah. But then again, again, should not have touched the person. You cannot go choke somebody out. It didn't really look like he pushed her that, that blah, blah, blah. They pushed that lady that hard against, against whatever the hell that was. It didn't make much of a sound, but it made enough of a sound. And you can't be like choking somebody to the ground. That, no. See, I was all set to laugh about this because Ezra is the most SJW asshole I've ever seen in my life in Hollywood. However, then he's got to come out as non binary. <laughs> and when you're part of the trans community, they're going to automatically come at your ass for being dumbass within that community doing something fucking stupid. What he did was fucking stupid. What they did was fucking stupid. No oh, shut up. At least get this kind of correct. Almost like So, the being known as Ezra Miller acted a fucking fool. But don't blame the damn trans community for this one dumb shit. Because I don't know who you are, what you are, no this. Somebody who looks like you, acts like you, that's considered within whatever community you're in, will act like a dick. Know this. Quit blaming a whole community of people for the actions of one fucking dumbass. It's old. It wasn't funny the first time. You know better unless you're just an idiot. Which is entirely possible. I don't know. I, I really don't care. But I'm just saying. Well, I don't care about your, your freaking out and stupid shit. But it, it's getting old. I'm tired of hearing it. I'm beginning to understand why. <laughs> when people... Is freak out when somebody who has a resemblance to them acts a fool. Because the whole world. As. Freak out more. You are responsible. But every 
everybody who looks like he does. And nothing can be further from the truth. You're responsible for your actions. Not with somebody else. It isn't your fault how they act. I already got me one. That's just damn embarrassing. What Ezra Miller does is the only to be bothered by what Ezra Miller does. Not everybody who looks or acts like or is in the same creed, sexual orientation, or anything else that Ezra Miller is. It is his own damn fault, not everybody else. Chill. Quit blaming everybody else for how they look, or for what group they belong to. Because trust me, I don't give a shit who you are, you will have somebody in your group who acts like a dumbass. Alright, nothing is. Peace.